we as WHO are pleased to be part of the collaboration with the Africa Intraprofessional Education Network, Sigma Theta Taos International, Tau Lambda at Light Chapter, and AMREF International University in organizing this second interprofessional education and collaborative practice conference for Africa. As WHO, we believe that the intraprofessional education and collaborative practice will play a significant part in ensuring that within the region we have human resources capacity that are fit for purpose to deliver universal health coverage. My presentation therefore will focus on WHO's perspectives on sustainable development goals, health and health related targets, in particular universal health coverage and the critical role human resources for health play in achieving universal health coverage. We will also discuss the following. What are we doing at WHO to advance and to rapidly move the countries in the region towards UHC? Reflections on what we focus on within the region to address human resources for health challenges. Reflections on the role of intra-professional education and collaborative practice in advancing UHC agenda on the continent. I would also like to ask participants in particular to take a reflection on the following questions. What does universal health coverage mean to you? What do we need to achieve universal health coverage? What are the health workforce challenges that we meet? How do we address the health workforce challenges in a sustainable manner? How do we leverage into professional education and collaborative practice to achieve universal health coverage? And what uh, would be the key priority actions for rapid attainment of universal health coverage? It is important that we understand that to achieve universal health coverage, uh, we require an efficient health system that provides the entire population with access to good quality services, health workers, medicines, and technologies. It also requires a financing system to protect people from financial hardships and impoverishment from health care costs. Access to health services ensures healthier people, while financial risk protection prevents people from being pushed into poverty. Therefore, universal health coverage is a critical component of sustainable development and poverty reduction, and a key element to reducing social inequalities. Universal health coverage is not achieved uh, overnight, but all countries can take action to move more rapidly towards universal health coverage and maintain the gains they have made already. For a community or country to achieve universal health coverage, several factors must be in place and they include the following. A strong, efficient well health system that meets priority health needs through people-centered integrated care. Affordability, a system of financing health services need to be in place so people do not suffer financial hardship when using the services. Availability of essential medicines and technologies to be able to diagnose and treat medical conditions, a sufficient capacity of well-trained, motivated health workers to provide services to meet patients' needs uh, based on the available evidence, actions to address the social determinants of health, such as education, living conditions, household income that affect people's health and their access to services. This conference, therefore, allows us to take a reflection on what are the systematic steps that we must take to ensure that the health workforce that we produce is adequate, deployed appropriately with good skill mix, equipped with modern advances in healthcare, and able to adapt to the continuously changing needs of the health system. I hope that this conference therefore will be a big contribution towards moving the continent to universal health coverage. I thank you for your attention.